Hi CCC family, it's Dawn Marie with Custom Comfy Crochet and today we're going to learn how to do a turtle border. Now for this border I've got a little swatch here that I've used of this variegated tan color yarn and then I'm using two color of yarn for the turtle. So I'm using a light green and then I'm using a dark green. Now in the description box below I will leave the exact yarns I'm using. You also, for the end of your project, will need a darning needle, needle and a pair of scissors. Now, darning needle looks like this. It can also be called a crochet needle. And what this has worked in is a count of 15. So keep that in mind as you make this border. Um, each one of these turtles, starting from the first leg all the way to the next le leg, is a count of 15. Now, if you want to change that up, you can, but that's just what I did for my border. And then it has a little eye here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into the tutorial. So we're going to start with this light green color. And we're going to start right here in the beginning of our swatch, right in the first stitch here. And I'm going to bring in my light green. Just like you would normally bring in a color, however you like to do that. Then you're going to chain up two. This counts as your first half double crochet. Then you're going to half double crochet into your next stitch, half double crochet into your next stitch, which means now you have three. One, two, and three counting our first chain of two. Then you're going to chain two, and you're going to skip two. Then in the next stitch, the third stitch, you're going to put another half double crochet. Then in the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then in the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. So it looks just like this. So you have three double crochets counting your first chain of two. Then you have a chain of two and you skip two and then you have three more half double crochets. And this is when you're going to change color. So you're going to leave this light green on and I'm going to bring in my dark green. And I'm just going to bring it in just like this right here into this color here. You can do it differently if you want, but this is just the way that I do it. Then I'm going to chain one, turn my work, and then I'm going to chain two, um, one more. Then I'm going to put a half double crochet into this first stitch right here. And then I'm going to put a half double crochet in my next stitch. That counts as three half double crochets because of our chain of two here. Then in the middle of our chain two section, we're going to put two half double crochets. One and two. And then we're going to put a half double crochet in each stitch here. So that means we need three. So there's one, two, and then this one will be kind of hard to work into, but in this third stitch here, you need to get into the very top of that half double crochet and put a half double crochet. Okay, and that's what it looks like so far. You can tighten up if you need to. Tighten up on this light green here. Now we're going to chain three and turn our work again. Now we're going to skip one, two, and three, and into the fourth stitch, you're going to put a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three again. One, two, three, and then into the fourth stitch here, you're going to put a slip stitch. Just like that. Then you're going to chain three again and turn your work. Then you're going to put a slip stitch right where you put a slip stitch before. So in the previous slip stitch, you're going to put a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three again. 
And again, put a slip stitch where you did your previous slip stitch. If for some reason you can't work into that, it's okay. It'll still work out beautifully. But this is what it looks like so far. Now we're gonna make the tail. And to make the tail, you're going to chain three, turn your work, and then you're going to slip stitch back down that chain of three. So technically you're just going to slip stitch twice. One and two. Just like that. Then you're going to slip, slip stitch right below here and to this little space below. And that's just to hold the tail right there into place. Now we're gonna work across these chain of threes that we did. So into this chain of three, you can see a little hole there. You're going to put three single crochets. One, two, and three. Then into the slip stitches that we were doing in this previous slip stitch, you're going to put one single crochet. Now this can be hard to get into, but just use your crochet hook to get in there. Then in this chain of three right here, you're going to again put three single crochets. One, two, and three. Okay. Now we finished with the body of our turtle. Now we're going to do the head. To do the head, we're going to chain three, and then we're going to chain four more. One, two, three, and four. Then working back down in our second chain from the hook, we're going to put one half double crochet. And then in our next stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet. And to the next stitch, we're going to put one half double crochet. And then in these last three stitches, we're going to put slip stitches. So one slip stitch, then two, and then three. And now what you need to do is slip stitch down the side here. So we're going to go into this first open space that we have, which is this little hole right here, and we're going to put a slip stitch. Then we're going to work into our next space and put a slip stitch and then you're going to work into this next space down here, which is where the green is, and you're going to put another slip stitch. And then you're going to do one more. Okay, pull tight. And now look, you've completed the turtle. What I like to do when we do these half double crochets at the top, they tend to close up together. So I just take my nails and I just pull it apart a little bit so that they get spread out. And look, now you have a little turtle. Okay, so we finished our turtle and now what we're going to do is we're going to cut off this dark green. So yeah, beware, you're gonna have ends to work in with this if you wanna use multicolors. If you just use all one color, then you won't have to worry about it, okay? Then you can pull tight on that green and that'll pull that down, okay? And so then you would work this in. I like to tie this in the back, just like this. and then you would work those ends in, okay? Just like that, and then that piece right there. And then um, later, I'm gonna show you how to put on the eye, but let's go ahead and finish up. So um, now what you're gonna wanna do <clears throat> is you're going to, I'm going to go right back into this stitch and pull up my green. I never cut it off, okay? So I wanna pull up my green, and then I'm gonna go into my next seven stitches and put one single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So I, would, I just wanna make sure that we have the right count of 15. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay, so that's what I want. I wanted to leave enough distance in between the turtles um, so that you could see them properly and they wouldn't be on top of each other. Okay, so now I'm gonna, I'm gonna do another turtle with you so you can see exactly how to do it. We're gonna do it again. Remember, if I'm moving too fast, you can always rewind or you can slow up the video in the settings there, okay? So after I've done those seven single crochets, I'm gonna go right into my next stitch and I'm going to put a half double crochet. Then I'm gonna go into my next stitch and put a half double crochet and into my next stitch, I'm going to put a half double crochet. Then I'm going to chain two, I'm going to skip two, and then I'm going to do three half double crochets again. So one, two, and three, just like that. And as you can see, it looks like it's just kind of gone up, but it's gonna even out once we bring in our other color. So now we're gonna bring in the dark green again. And I just pull it in just like this because I know I'm gonna work everything in later. And then I just pull tight. And then we're going to chain two, turn your work, put a half double crochet in your next stitch, and a half double crochet in your next stitch. Then in this chain of two spot, we're going to put two half double crochets, one and two. And then we're going to put a half double crochet on the top over here of these three. One, two half double crochets, and then here's the third one, just like that. Then you're going to chain three and you're going to turn your work again. Turn your work again, and now we're going to be working um, over. So we're going to count over four, one, two, three, and four, and into the fourth stitch, we're going to put a slip stitch. Then we're going to chain three again. Then we're gonna go all the way over here to this fourth stitch, and we're going to put a slip stitch. Then you're going to chain three again, turn your work and then you're going to slip stitch right into where we slip stitched before then you're going to chain three and again you're going to slip stitch where we slip stitched before now we're going to do the tail so to do the tail you're going to chain three turn your work and then you're going to do two slip stitches back down. So from the second chain from the hook, you're going to put a slip stitch. And the next uh, stitch, you're gonna put a slip stitch, chain rather, okay? And then you're gonna slip stitch right down here into this spot to hold it all in together, okay? Now we're going to be working across this way so we're gonna go our, into our first chain of three and we're going to work three single crochets. One, two, and three. And then we're gonna go into this where we've been working our slip stitches. You're gonna go in the middle of there and you're gonna work one single crochet. And then you're gonna go into your next stitch and work around this three chain of three and do three single crochets. Okay. Then you're going to slip stitch again at the end here. And then, I'm just tightening everything up. Then we're going to work on the head and the neck here. So you're going to chain up three. One, two, and three. Then you're going to chain up four. One, two, three, and four. And then working back down into the second chain from the hook, you're going to put a half double crochet. In the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. And into the next stitch, you're going to put a half double crochet. And then working in the last three stitches, you're going to put slip stitches going down. So there's one slip stitch, there's the second one, and there's the third one. 
okay? And now we're gonna slip stitch our way down again. So we're gonna find our little places to work into to put our slip stitches. So there's one. Two. And three. Okay. And so now we can cut off that green and tie off just like that. And now we've completed another turtle. And like I said, I just take where we did these half double crochets and I just pull them out a little bit just to spread them apart. Okay. And look at how cute these little turtles are. And then again, you would pull up your green yarn that's still attached. And then you would do seven single crochets over. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven and then you would start all over again okay so I'm going to cut this off for right now because I want to show you how to do the eyes so I'm going to take a piece of this light green yarn you can really use any color you'd like for the eyes but I'm going to just use this light green yarn and I'm going to put it on to my darning needle just like this And then I'm going to put an eye right in between. So here are three half double crochets up here. So one, two, and three. So right in the, right above the second one, I'm gonna bring up my light green yarn. And then I'm gonna go right above the first one here, just like this. And then I'll probably do it one more time. So I'll go over to this side again. Oh, and it came out. <laughs> Anyways, I would just go back in again. Uh, that piece of yarn came out and I'll, I'll need to thread it back through again. So I'm just going to do that on camera here. Because that happens sometimes when you're working with darning needles. You just pull the yarn right out. But I'm just going to go back through there so you can see. And then I would tie this off in the back and then I would work it in only working through the back of the green so it doesn't show through the front, okay? So, and then if it pulls too tight when you do that, like if I turn this over and I tie this, like that, and then I would work it in later. But sometimes it goes recedes back into the yarn. So all you have to do is take your darning needle and pull up on that spot so that it shows better, okay? So that's how you do the little eyes. It's a very easy pattern that I came up with for this turtle. I hope you really enjoy it and you use it on your projects. If you do, please let me know. Please hit the red bell um, below to subscribe. And um, if you have any questions or um, you need some help on something or you just want to comment, obviously you can leave it below in the YouTube comment section. Or you can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and I have a Gmail. All of that again is below in the description box. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Happy crocheting. Bye-bye.